Hey guys, so today it's going to be in my car because it's raining and I thought maybe I'd, I'd wait till it's, it stops, but it's not going to stop. It's like a whole day thing. So we're in my car. <sighs> we are still in nature. Um, I picked an abandoned train station here. I'll show you. This is the abandoned train station in Rigo. Um, and which actually fits perfectly with my theme. The theme is death. And, you know, I've been listening to a lot of um, testimonials of people who are talking about what's going on in the world. And I love to hear some, some experiences and, and the way people are... Um, are, are living this, re this new reality. And, uh, one thing that came out as a message for me is, um, the fear of death. So it's something that is very much in our face, death, whether it's, um, weather events, uh, for like, um, geological events or whether it's um, in terms of our health whether it's in terms of uh, mental health even you know uh, there's so many things uh, nutrition uh, every everything is being questioned and everything is up for review right now even our financial system, everything, like every, every aspect, everything that was uh, like a kind of status quo in terms of structures is no longer status quo, uh, at least for those who are really <laughs> paying attention and uh, awake or in the process of waking up, everything's up for review. So the question is, what do we want to create? what do we want now for this new world that's being created? And it's so juicy. I mean, I, I see such an opportunity for people to collaborate, for people to co-create and for more love, more harmony, more compassion, more patience and more acceptance um, to, to actually thrive and to, uh, to come to the forefront. And, um, made me think of the topic of death because there are a lot of cultures in our world who welcome the idea of death and who see it as a beautiful thing, who see it as a transition and who honor it and respect it and, um, and prepare for it in a way that's, um, that's beautiful. And that's how I want to face my death is to uh, see it as any kind of transition in my life, like being born or like uh, going through childbirth or uh, any kind of really intense experience. For me, that's how I want my death to be is like, in, like beautiful, intense, uh, magical, symbolic. And uh, I want to learn something so beautiful from it and be an inspiration to others. And who would have thought by dying, we can have such an impact who knows, like sky's the limit. We can create anything and it's up to me what I create with my life. Um, so that's what I want to create. And, um, and also on the flip side is that someone who's not afraid of death is actually invincible. You cannot threaten them. You cannot, um, scare them with some kind of, a. um, you know, um, f I'm, I'm going to say fake or illusion of, um, something bad happening because if someone's not afraid of death, well, okay, so what, you know, bring it on, <laughs> like whatever you got for me, bring it. I know I'll, I'll be fine. And the worst that could happen. Okay. There's death. And, <laughs> and <laughs> are we an exception? Has there anyone ever not died <laughs> in the history of human kind? Um, so this is just, I know I'm making it sound funny, but it's a serious thing and maybe we should talk about it more. So, uh, so that's what I want to bring in the meditation today is the idea of death 
And what is it about death that scares us? And, and, and tune in to yourself, tune into the planet, tune into your guides and just see like, what is it about death that's, if it, if it scares me, maybe it doesn't scare you. So if it doesn't just take this time uh, to see what's possible now that you have this realization, like, oh my God, I'm not afraid of death. Cool. What's possible? What can I create? If you are and you have some resistance towards that, um, well, just look at look at it and say, okay, um, what would it take to have peace with this topic? What would what would it take to have clarity? And then whatever comes up, forgive yourself and be compassionate. Because it's okay. Whatever the outcome is, it's exactly where you need to be. And nothing needs to, uh, there's no right or wrong answer. So on that note, let's close our eyes. Take a deep breath. And start listening to the sounds around you. I can hear the rain falling on my car. And if you've been following my videos, you've noticed that I, I hum a lot. Uh, of course, I'm a singer, so for me, sound is sacred. And there's a form of healing in, in the sounds that we make. If you make it in a way that's tuned to love, in the frequency of love, so when I'm humming, or I can even say sighing or some kind of release, you know, you, you can hear the release. There's, there's a healing effect to it. So if you've wondered why, that's why. And I encourage you to explore the power of your voice because it is powerful. Mm. Mm.
Open your eyes. Notice that you feel calm. And there's a sense of peace and stillness, even in your voice when you're speaking. So if you're on your lunch break or you just got home from doing your chores or your your work or or you're about to go to bed, bring that peace into the rest of your day or bring that peace into your your sleep and give yourself a big energetic hug right now give yourself some love give yourself a big a big high five for choosing connection for choosing love Mm. and choosing to let go And have yourself a fabulous rest of your day. I love you. Namaste.